This is a scene from West Texas. It's early morning and I'm looking towards Big Bend area. So there's a strip of mountains here that you can see even from Terlingua. And they're really wonderful because when the sun's coming up, it catches them and makes really nice light on those mountains. It's really beautiful. I have a paper that feels like sandpaper, so it's gonna catch the, uh, the pastel easily and I can layer that way. I got in the gallery in Houston, the um, William Reeves Fine Art Gallery. Bill Reeves suggested that I consider doing a project where I go to the, a lot of the same places that Frank Ray went to, and it became such a great quest, I guess you'd say. I just really enjoy doing it. Well, you know, Texas has got a little everything. Whatever kind of landscape you want to paint, you can just about find everything here. I first saw his work at the Panhandle Plains Museum many years ago, and I was very impressed with his plein air work. This is wonderful. They just are like little jewels of pastel paintings. When I was trying to go to the same places that Frank Ray did, just in investigating, I'd come across all this history about these places, and that really started intriguing me, and I was really enthralled with that. It changed how I look at like what I care about when I paint. When I do a, an underpainting, like I normally would, especially for a big piece, and I have the darks underneath, I can use this tool, and then I can scratch out where I want the poles to be or telephone lines. And then if I don't like it, I haven't added pastel, so it's not dirty. That's the artist's curse, is knowing when you're finished, because, you know, how do you know when you've gone too far till you go too far? Okay. Shall we call it finished?